In today's video, I'm going to be showing you even more exciting ways you can play arcade games and console games on your Amazon Fire Stick with the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet, coming up right after this. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you on an intermediate level how to download and install the Happy Chick emulator. This is an application that allows you to download video game ROMs directly via their app store and it lets you play on the Legends Arcade Ultimate cabinet via the Bluetooth connection on the latest firmware. So the first things first, you're going to need to start out on your Amazon Fire Stick. Again, I'm using an Amazon Fire Stick 4K, it's the most powerful version out there currently. 1080p Fire Stick works fine but you'll find some games on the Happy Chick emulator maybe not running as well as you'd like them to just because it's not as powerful as you need it to be to run. So I highly suggest if you're gonna go this route and you really wanna play a lot of games, the 4K version of the Fire Stick is gonna be your best bet. So we're gonna start on the Fire Stick and I'm going to go over to my settings. I'm gonna come down to my Fire TV. I'm gonna select it. And I'm going to go down to developer options. This is something we need to do before we download anything. I need to make sure the ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources, both of these are turned on. So if they're not, go ahead and flip them. I'm going to hit back on my home screen. And now we're going to start to download the things we need to to get everything up and running for Happy Chick. First thing we need to do is download an app called Downloader. Very simple. I'm just going to go to my magnifying glass. I'm going to start to type in Downloader and you'll see it pop up rather quick. And there it is. First one, downloader. Looks like this. I'm going to select it. And we're just going to go ahead and download it. Go ahead and speed through this process so you don't have to wait on the download. So you're going to be on the screen right here, and this is where you need to enter a specific shortened URL that'll take you to a Mediafier that allows you to download specifically the Happy Chick emulator. So we're going to put in this address and I'll put it on the screen real quick so you don't have to watch me type it out. It's not, not all that interesting to watch me type. And once we got the address typed in, we're going to go ahead and hit go. It's going to take us to the website. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit download. Now, depending on your internet speed, this could take longer than others. All right, our file is downloaded, so we're going to go down and hit install. And we can hit done. And now we can actually delete this file after we've already installed everything. So we can scroll over and hit delete. Yes, I'm sure I want to delete it. And now we can hit home. And we can go find our Happy Chick emulator. Should be at the bottom. And there we are. And pro tip, if you hit your little selection on the right here on your remote, you can actually move to the front so you don't have to search for this every time. So when I'm on the home screen now, I should see my Happy Chick emulator at the beginning every single time. So now would be a good time to go ahead and pair the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade with Bluetooth and connect it to our Amazon Fire Stick so we can get into the Happy Chick emulator and start playing. All right, so we have the Happy Chick application up and running on our Fire Stick. It's very simple, easy to use. I've already went ahead and connected the control deck via Bluetooth with the Fire Stick. In the interest of time, I'm not going to show you how to do that again. I did that in a previous video that I'll link down in the video description box below. But searching games, very simple. You can search them by individual title. You'll just type in the name, hit search, and then it'll pop up on the right hand side all the matching games. If you don't want to do it that way, you can come over here and you'll notice a lot of these tiles are in a different language, so I would just go ahead and ignore them. Um, specific ones that are kind of helpful though, if you're interested in all the Street Fighter games, you just come to the Street Fighter tile and this will have all the various Street Fighter titles that you can download specific. Very handy that way. But for the most part, most of you will be interested in this screen. So this shows you the different games you can download and the different systems that are running on the Happy Chick emulator. So we got PlayStation 1, PSP, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, 
Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, Arcade, and then of course they've got it categorized by genre. So there's some definite drawbacks to this Happy Chick emulator. It's not really anything to do with the At Games Legends firmware, it's more so with the Happy Chick emulator and application itself. So the PlayStation and the PSP games, a lot of those will run and they will run well on the Fire Stick. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, even though you map the start button and map the buttons the way you want them, it just won't initialize the game. Probably nine out of the 10 PlayStation 1 games I tried, even though the game was running and everything appeared to be working smoothly, I could never initialize and actually start the game when I hit the start button. It just didn't recognize it, even though I had mapped that specific button to the start button. So I would probably avoid the PSP and the PlayStation 1 games. Nintendo 64, again, this one's another frustrating thing because the games start up and they run smoothly. However, due to the unique control configuration of the Nintendo 64 controller, a lot of those games all default to that joystick thumb analog button. And even though you map your controller for the Nintendo 64 games, it doesn't recognize the D-pad as the default. So you'll be able to start your game and everything, but you won't be able to control characters because it's looking for the analog input. So when you're moving the joystick, it won't register it. But the mouse and the trackball will quasi work, but you still can't play the games because they're, it's, it's, it's almost like the, the inputs are flipped and corresponding and conflicting with each other. It's, it's very odd what it does when you try to play Nintendo 64 and you're using the trackball and the spinners. So again, Nintendo 64, you won't be unfortunately able to really play on the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade via this method. However, if you want to pair a different Bluetooth controller, say a PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, um, a GameServe controller, anything like that, you can pair those individually with the Fire Stick and play it that way. But obviously we're not really interested in that. We're, we're talking specific to the Legends Ultimate Arcade. Dreamcast, those games are far too powerful, unfortunately, for the Fire Stick. So you'll download them and everything, but the moment you try to start it, it'll just blink at you and it'll bring you back to the screen. So again, I would avoid Dreamcast games. All the console games, Sega, NES, Super Nintendo, those all work great. Arcade, Arcade is very, very successful. You'll be able to download all sorts of great games, lots to choose from, and you'll be able to download some games that are able to run on this that you couldn't add on the add-on tool. But again, this is really more of an option um, specific to people that don't want to or don't know how to do the add-on tool for the Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet. So let me just show you a couple examples of some games I've got downloaded already and just show you what this looks like, as well as how to configure your controls. So. Downloaded a couple arcade games here. Go to Super Ninja Baseball Batman. I don't know why I said Super. So initially it defaults to a button mapping, but you'll want to customize it. And you'll just come down here, customize keys. And it's a very simple process. You'll select whatever button input you want to start with. So if I want to map my up, I'm going to hit A. It's going to ask me to hit up and then I'm there. And I'm going to do that for all my buttons. A button, A button. So you can map map this however you want for your left button, right button, right trigger, left trigger. I've mapped all those to the C and Z buttons um, just because there's not a lot of games that are obviously going to use that many buttons. Start and select, I've got my rewind and my start button. But very simple to map those and you can do that game starts up, it does its quick ROM little check, put a couple quarters in, As you can see, game runs really smooth, no issues whatsoever. This game is so ridiculous. I've always, always loved it. I mean, the name alone obviously grabs you, but then you see this off the wall crazy gameplay and you're just like, what did, what did I sign up for? But it's loads of fun. I love this one. Highly recommend you checking it out.
Now if you've mapped your start and select buttons, you'll hold them both to be able to back out of your game and you'll hit exit, or you can do the lazy way and use your remote and back out that way. Show a different game. Let's go to Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Again, this is another one of those games that you wouldn't really be able to play via the add-on method, so this is where this comes in handy. I'll get my butt kicked by a bookie real quick. Good one. Oh. There we go. Game runs great though. Show you a couple more examples real quick and then we'll call it good. So Red Earth. This is an interesting one. Not a lot of people are familiar with it. This was the first game released on the Capcom CPS3 system in the arcades. I believe it came out in 1996. It's a really kind of crazy fighter if you've never seen it before. Um, it's very difficult as well, so I'm definitely going to die on this. I'd be amazed if I won a match. I don't remember any of the special moves, so this will just be punching and kicking for me. Got some very magical, whimsical characters and bad guys in this game for sure. Pick Leo. It's essentially He-Man with a lion's head. Not the most ingenious character drawing or I don't know what what they were really thinking with this one. It just seems like someone really phoned in the, the design of that character. But regardless. No. And I, I don't even know how to describe the thing I'm trying to fight here. It's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex with a ram head and chicken feet. And he just dragon breathed me. And I'm getting eat, eat up. Oh, and I got horned. And I'm going to get gored again. There we go. Use the block for once. I'm notorious for never blocking in fighting games. Totally thought he was going to hit me. That's what I was expecting. There we go. Hey, I won a match. But very cool that this is playable on here. Again, this is something you couldn't do via the add-on tool. And lastly, we'll do some dodgeball. This is another game I absolutely love, especially the actual arcade version. Super Dodgeball. Classic Neo Geo. You want to talk about crazy character design? This game has it in spades. Just look at these guys. This guy's got some crazy glasses, Buddha belly, and then you're... That guy just came out with a gun. I mean, come on now. That's not legal. Give me the ball. And... That's what you get. In your face. Got it. 
In your face again. Oh, he got it. Oh, come on. That crossing the line. Cheater. In your Buddha belly. That's what you get. Unibrow. I guess Uncle Fester Cheater. And he's cheating. He's cheating. That's like the default. You always say someone's cheating if they just beat you. Or you blame it on lag or whatever it is. There we go. Oh, he's down. I thought he was down and out. He's, he's stunned. There, now he's down and out. Again, another guy running past that line. Cheating fool. Uh oh. Man. Coming for you, Poindexter. Come on. Oh, it's... It's... It's almost time. Oh, he caught that. I really t thought I was going to finish him right there. There we go. Finishing blow. There it is. One more left. Can I take... Can I take out the jock? Nope. He takes me out. Come on, Redhead Elvis. That's what I'm talking about. And there you have it. That's how simple it is to go ahead and get this Happy Chick application up and running and download games that you can play on the Legends Arcade cabinet. One thing specific to the Happy Chick games themselves, they are actually downloaded locally on your Amazon Fire Stick. And if you want to know how much space you have, you just look up in this top right hand corner and that'll show you how much space you have remaining. And a lot of these console games and the majority of these arcade games don't actually take up a whole heck of a lot of space. So, you know, depending on how many applications you already have installed on your Fire Stick, you should have a decent amount of room to download lots and lots of great games for your Fire Stick collection. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, make sure you stick around for more great content like this because I'll have a third video in this Amazon Fire Stick series where I show you how to install and play RetroArch and play games via RetroArch on the Legends Ultimate Arcade and the Fire Stick. So stick around for that. And guys, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it.